welcome to Lassam Athletics. My name is Lucas and this is episode 14 of my kite surfing progression vlog. In this episode I am taking you to my favorite spot which is at the beach as you know from my previous episodes. That day the weather conditions were quite low and they actually turned out to be much lower than what was predicted and what was expected by me. In any event, I did get into the water, I got wet, I managed to perform a few water starts and I got a few short slides. But very soon it became obvious that the kite won't be able to generate enough pull, so I decided to come out of the water and I actually use this as an opportunity to practice some jumping techniques. Sometimes you get to your spot, you get all your gear ready and the wind just goes. You can use situation like this as a chance to improve your kiting skills. Kite control, you can perform things like self-launching, self-landing, landing with your chicken loop and bar attached to your harness. You can also try self-landing with an anchor point. So there's many things that you can practice and use it as an advantage. The conditions are very low, so you are able to perform many things which normally you wouldn't in your just normal wind conditions or strong wind conditions. Also a quick tip for you and just treat this as a personal opinion rather than a thing that you're supposed to be doing. I would like to give you an indication in regards to the leash because as many kite surfers that many preferences of how they like to do things and that's what this is all about. You want to find your style and just do things your way. The other day I tried self-landing the kite with an anchor point. Me personally I'm using quite a long leash and that's the disadvantage of it that is basically just hanging on the side of you while you're kite surfing. It has its advantages in certain situations. So for example when I performed that self-landing with an anchor point for the first time it was very useful. On top of that my leash has got two calipers on both sides where some of the leashes has a string on one of the sides and then the caliper to attach to your safety line on your bar but me having two calipers allows me to or allowed me in that situation disconnect the leash completely loop it through the anchor point put it together and then transfer the chicken loop onto it and safely land the kite when in a situation when you have a string on one of the sides of your leash you wouldn't be able to do that you would need to use additional leash also when you perform self landing using an anchor point you want to practice beforehand and that's if you've never done it before just parking the kite on the side of the wind window and when you do that you're supposed to be able to let go so the bar is sheet out and the kite should just park on one of the ears one of the tips without you know suddenly wanted to go up or causing you any type of troubles. I use that situation of the wind being much less than what I wanted it to be as an opportunity to practice jumping, just to get the feel for it, just to see how to operate the bar in order to allow it to launch me in the air. With all that being said, let's have a look at this episode's movie. Let's get right into it.
like wind today, so <laughs> we're gonna stop it. Jumping since the wind is not enough to generate enough pull for edging. Good session. Okay guys, so that was jumpy, jumpy, jumpy session. The wind is not enough for me to edge. The direction of the wind is pretty much north. Well, north, west. 
but it's not enough anymore it's sunny when it was cloudy it was stronger but in any event it was an amazing session first jump on the sand all right soon on the water okay i can't play Woo! This was episode 14 of my kite surfing progression vlog, another amazing progressive and fun session. My name is Lucas, this is Lassam Athletics. I would like to say thank you very much for being with me on my channel, watching my videos. And as always, remember, be inspired, be creative and be active. I'll see you soon.